Award-winning R&B singer Ashanti will soon be in Sacramento, but before that, she'll be part of a star-studded celebration, NBC's Macy's 4th of July fireworks event. And we are excited to welcome Ashanti to the show this morning. Ashanti, good morning. I saw you jamming to your music there. We were all moving around in the studio this morning. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Why is being a part of this fireworks event so important for you? Um, it's such an iconic event, you know, we're celebrating just being a girl from New York City and being able to perform in my hometown with so many amazing artists on such a special day is such an amazing feeling. So I'm really excited. Okay, what can we look forward to? Um, the show is going to be incredible. Again, so many different genres of music, the fireworks, you know, over the water. The crowd is going to be like electric <laughs> and you definitely going to get the classic Ashanti records. <laughs> OK, looking forward to that for sure. And we know you're coming to Sacramento, so that's just over a month from now coming to the uh, California State Fair. What can fans here in Northern California expect to see? Also some classic Ashanti, I hope. Oh, absolutely. I can't wait to get back to Sacramento. I actually shot a film there and we were there for like almost two months. Um, so I had so much fun, you know, and I'm just so looking forward to coming back and just having an amazing time. And again, just putting on an amazing show. You know, I like the crowds to feel like they're a part of it, you know, so mm -hmm. we may call a few on stage. We may do some fun things. So looking forward to that as well. OK, throwing my hat in the ring. So like if you're looking for somebody to get on stage, just let me know, sis, and I'll come through. I will be there. I promise. <laughs> I will definitely <laughs> let you know. You know what? And for folks that may not know this, it's not just about music for you. You also are inspiring young people. You wrote a book uh, titled My Name is a Story. Why was it so important to write that children's book? Well, with a name like Ashanti, you know, growing up, it was extremely unique and I feel like it still is today. And sometimes if people didn't pronounce my name, I would feel like I was a little odd or I wasn't like a part of everyone else, you know, because my name wasn't Emily or Susie or something a little bit more common. So I wanted to do something that kind of empowered kids to embrace their names that are different. You know, it's OK if your name doesn't sound like everyone else is in the class, you know, and if the teacher doesn't pronounce it correctly, correct them and just say, listen, I'm proud of my name. You know, I was named that for a reason. There's a story behind that. So I kind of wanted to put that out there for kids and, you know, just to feel empowered. We, we love that and, and so grateful that you are being with us here this morning and looking forward to you being back in California for sure. Finally, what does it take to prepare for a show like this fireworks show that's coming up? I mean, it's not just you on stage, right? So it's a whole list of other performers. Is preparing for that different than the shows when you're alone? Um, it's definitely different because obviously this is broadcast across the nation. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a little bit different pressure. Um, but again, like the effort that goes into it and just creating and, you know, the mutual respect with all the different artists, everyone kind of wants to come and put on the, the best show, you know? So I think everyone kind of just wants to elevate and be creative and just give the best that we can. Ashanti, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We really appreciate it. And again, looking forward to seeing you right here in SAC next month. Awesome. Thank you.